What's happening, explorers? Alright, I've been checking this house every weekend for about two months because it was on a demolition list and it looks like they've uh, started to at least take the uh, roofing tiles off to prep it for demo. Um, I had a quick look around the back and I went through and opened the front door so we'll go through but the neighbouring home and this one are almost identical beautiful old Tudor homes now the inside is pretty much still intact although they've, they've removed a few things um, but there's enough left to see what this place was like including the huge foundation pro problems so let's go in for a look Just close the door over. Yeah, I've filmed a few lately that I've kind of got to halfway through the salvage process, which sucked. Um, but this one, yeah, okay, they've pulled up the carpet and knocked a few ceilings, or one ceiling down in there, we'll see in a sec. But it's pretty much intact inside. Love those uh, huge inverted ceiling roses. Yeah, I've got some real estate photos for this one too, so I'll um, splice them into the video. And in the photos, you can even see these boards. They're actually propping up the ceiling. Because check this out, this is one of the biggest, or one of the better cracks I've seen. It's actually, um, the wall is falling away from the, the front wall. You've got that huge separation all the way down there. Yeah, I took some photos of the front of this when I was checking it too. And I was looking for them the other day, so obviously if I found them in that meantime, you saw, saw them at the front. Lots of damage. That's just propped up as well. Now, the, I've not seen one that shape before. Um, the date, again if I haven't put it in already, this would be around 1930. The earliest late 20s but definitely early 30s. This is the only room they've ripped up the floorboards in. And uh, the ceiling's exposed. It would have been a bedroom though. Bathroom, 
Some tiles will fall through the manhole. Original windows and cabinet, but updated tiles, toilet, and uh, basin and bath, most likely. Look at these old latches, though, just things like that. Now the kitchen. Okay, they've taken the kitchen sink. And the old stove. I can't remember if there was an old stove in the real estate photos. Let's find out. Walk-in pantry. Okay. Oops. That was probably sitting up there, maybe. Yeah, there's the hook. back porch, back mudroom and laundry. Look at the old trough. That's like a, a triple banger, triple basin. That's original. That's cool. Copper, copper piping still there. Taps are gone though. Check it out. The original toilet, the cobwebs. The original toilet. Yeah, the 20s. The 20s and 30s is when they did actually start incorporating the loo, the toilet, as part of the homes where before that there was pretty much always an outhouse out the back somewhere but outhouses were outhouses were built out the back right up until the 40s as well so there's always um, people you talk to that can Say they've grown up using an outhouse. And it's a little lean to sunroom. Even though this place is just beyond repair from the um well, nothing's beyond repair without, I mean, if you want to spend the cash, but uh, realistically, beyond repair this place is. What was I saying? Now I've forgotten. Oh yeah, even though this place is beyond repair, hate seeing them uh, demolished because they've got so much character. 
so much character. Alright, that's it. I'll um, finish off with some real estate photos and say goodbye to this old girl. Nearly served a hundred years, around 90 years. Alright, jump in the comments if you want it, guys, and thanks for watching. Cheers, bye. What's up guys? We're gonna check out another abandoned house due for demolition. This one's built 1930 from memory and there's some pretty cool old features still inside. But as you'll see, I think the previous owners were doing some renos and it all got a little bit too hard. So let's check it out before it's knocked down. This is the front half of the house. That was the front door we just came through, so check out this old light fixture. I'm with um, my mate Michael again today. He's in here taking photos. Really nice floorboards. I'm starting to strip off the, the plaster there and start again probably. Got the grill work in the hallway. Check out this fireplace. This one's got an Art Deco flavour to it, and there's one through there. It's more bungalow Tudor style. The arch, glazed dark brick, and more ceiling features. Yeah, this one's got the uh, weight, rope and pulley windows as well. A lot of people ask, how on earth can you have a light so low? That is because the dining room table sits under the light and no one has to walk under the light. So that is why these lights hang so low because it's directly over a table. If you're wondering, that is. Cool old fireplace. Another deep mantle. And the serving, serving hutch that goes through to the kitchen. Really love that fireplace. All right.
the bathroom's been completely stripped out. As you can see, there's a huge hole where the bathtub was. Very small little cabinet. And the kitchen's in here. Again, it's been fully stripped out. But check out this woodwork. It's been put around the doors. It's still pretty old because it's still got uh, the iron plating here with the original switches. It's an old feature, but it's not something that's typical <coughs> or common from what I've seen in these older homes. So that's awesome. Even there. The aircon. Yeah. So you've got the kitchen in there, and this would have been a simple dining room, this section. <coughs> And possibly a small bedroom at the back. I mean, check out the big oven. Huge stove top and a huge oven. Relatively new too, so. And the back porch with the laundry and the loo And again, you've got quite a large backyard, so something new will go on here. New building, new development. And that's where the hutch went through to the other room, which would have been the main dining room. <clears throat> Pretty quick explore. Not a huge house, but a nice one. Nice old one. So let us know what you think, guys, and jump in the comments if you want to comment on this place. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.